Welcome back, everyone. Tackling everyday home repair starts with having the right tools. So Mike Lawrence is here to show us the must-have tools we need to have handy, even if we aren't very handy ourselves, and I'm talking about me here. So <laughs> let's talk about the actual tool bag and functionality. Uh, what do we need to be looking for in a tool bag? Well, uh, tool bag or tool tote, mm -hmm. um, the functionality is, is about all the dividers. These pockets, easily accessible, mm -hmm. deep inside, great handle, shoulder strap, something that you can easily grab any tool very quickly. Not like your granddad's toolbox with a handle or one removable tray and just a pile of garbage in the bottom. Yes. <laughs> I'm a Virgo. I do, I do like home. it. Very organized. <laughs> Very organized. Okay, yeah. let's get to the tools now. There's a lot on this table, and sure. you're saying these are the, some of the things you need to uh, consider. So why don't we start around here? What have you sure. got? Um, well, this is your basic screwdriver. The, yep. the, the unique thing about this screwdriver is that it's a multi-bit. So you don't want to have 20 different screwdrivers in your bag, right. you know, unless you're an electrician. Now, the multi-bit... Uh, can fit anything, whether you're putting together IKEA or putting hanging art on the wall. Mm -hmm. The beauty of this multi bit is the fact that it's a ratchet screwdriver. So you it's can. It's ratchet. That's not how I use that word. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. You can loosen or tighten mm -hmm. with one hand. Unlike a conventional screwdriver, you have to remove it, stick it back in, and then turn because of your limitation with your wrist. Got it. This one's very clever as well, has a little hidden compartment, a few bits in the back. Yeah, show us that for a bit because this is amazing. There's no way I want to be searching through my toolbox or my tool tote every time I'm looking <laughs> for the bit that I need. Uh, we know sort of the X-Acto knife. Let's talk a little bit about this. We all have one of these. Show us how that one works, because it does certain things that I've never thought about before. Sure, absolutely. The beauty of it is that it can stand out, this particular model, up to about 13 feet. I'm at eight now, I could keep going. Wow! So that, okay, that allows that. you, uh, during COVID, to measure from a distance. Yes! <laughs> It's locking. This particular model also yeah. allows you to measure in metric or imperial, which is very handy. Yeah, good stuff. Now, the thing is, you don't always want to pack around a big heavy tape measure with you, especially mm -hmm. if you're just popping down to the store, uh, measuring some tile furniture. So yeah. having something very lightweight and small is key. And uh, my wife has one of those, yes. and I stole it. <laughs> I never gave it back. It's very small. It's lightweight. Yes. just fits in your pocket, and I keep it with me pretty much Every, any time that I'm out buying building materials and supplies. Yes. And is, is super practical to have. You need that all the time. Even you can throw those in there. Even when you're just, you know, measuring furniture for whatever rooms, I need them all the time. Well, talk to me about these. What's happening? Adjustable wrench. Yep. And again, like having 100 screwdrivers, yep. you could have 100 sockets and 100 different sized wrenches, mm -hmm. but, you know, not everyone's a mechanic. Right. So having something that can go from a very small size head in yeah. metric or imperial to something very wide and large, that's the only tool you need. It's also your only go-to tool required uh, from a plumbing standpoint. Oh, well, that's good you know, to know. If you only had one plumbing I'm tool never in your be bag, plumbing, but... that's it. And a very compact, lightweight pair yeah. of vice grips to hold onto those nuts and bolts on one side when you're adjusting the other. Very good. Now, I saw these and I thought right away, what is this and does this belong in a beauty segment? I don't know. <laughs> what are they? They are carpenter's pencils. And what makes them special? Uh, a few things. The lead is much thicker. You can put those uh, in. They're easily sharpened. They come with a sharpener in the case if you yeah. buy a whole case. They are a quick measuring tool. They're yeah. a quarter inch thick okay. this way, five yeah. eighths this way. So maybe if you're installing deck boards, you're using the end of your carpenter's pencil to set the gap when you're attaching the oh, boards. Oh, so you lots measure of clever and you ways write with to it. use it. Yeah, but now, it, it's the go to tool yeah. for marking wood. If we had like 15 seconds left, would you go through hammers or would you go through drills? What's more important? Oh, they're both. Look at the choices. Critical. He's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they're both so important. So why don't you quickly tell us about this hammer because I know sure. you love it. Oh, absolutely. So What's that, special? again, your, your granddad's type hammer. Yeah. Now, the reality is that I don't ever want to see that in anyone's toolbox. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't do what that one does. No, it does not. So today's modern hammer, this is a 16-ounce hammer, so it has a lot more force when you're mm -hmm. driving a nail or a fastener. It goes in much, much quicker. But it's steel. Mm. Uh, and the way that the forks on the back 
our design is to provide greater leverage when removing fasteners. The key is that if you're trying to pull something out, there's little divots in the side here mm -hmm. to extract a nail, this won't ever break. The yeah. second you try to pry something too hard or twist a wood style hammer like this, yeah. it's gonna break on you. Okay, good to know. So why don't you throw those in, throw the duct tape in, throw the level in, mm -hmm. actually even throw the drills in uh, because <laughs> We're sending one lucky audience member home with their own toolkit worth over five hundred dollars. So we have to put it all in there. So let's do the draw to find out who's walking away a little bit more handy. And the winner is, as Mike packs up your tool kit, it is Debbie Lumley. <laughs> Debbie, 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 Debbie. Stay there. We're gonna bring it to you. Before we go, give, give Debbie her tools, and we want to... <laughs>